Hey guys, Doug here again with another carving tutorial. It was back in late 2020 when I posted a painting video of this fella right here. And uh, at the time there was a lot of requests for uh, the carving video, not just the painting. And uh, I said, uh, well wait, we don't want to add too many tools. But uh, today we're going to add a couple tools to the, uh, the mix and not just a knife. And uh, we're going to carve one up. Now we're going to carve a big one. And uh, the way that we're going to carve it, it won't matter what size of wood that you have because, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep it super simple and uh, it's just going to be a matter of uh, halvesies and fingers. So <laughs> anyway, I took a piece of 3x3 three three, uh, basswood, 10 inches long, and of course I split it, right? So that's what we're going to do. The idea, of course, comes from my favorite book, The Gnomes, and you will see here on the wall they carve their ancestors to hang on the wall and i got one more over here there he is again so that's what we're going to do today we're not even going to paint this guy maybe we'll paint the eyeballs but uh we're just going to carve them so like i said i got a piece of uh 10 inch three inch block split and half 10 inches tall and uh we're just going to start from there all right, since this is a uh, 10 inch piece of wood, the center line is five inches, so right in half. So like I said, it doesn't matter what size of a uh, piece of wood you have, just start at the half, all right? And then we're gonna give, make an ear box over here. We're gonna go big. So I'm guessing that's probably an inch and a half. We'll bring that one right across too. Because in that ear box is going to be contained the full nose and the eyes all right but this is a big clunky piece of wood so i want to uh i want to get the uh the hat shape and the beard shape just so i can hold it better and i think uh while i do that i'm going to pull you back a bit too all right i've got my uh ear blocked out here so i'm just going to uh block those out i want to get the uh like I said before, I want to get the shape set so it's easier to hang on to because it's such a big chunk of wood. All right, so when we're dealing with these corners too, I want to uh, soften these sharp edges because you know darn well they're going to break. So I'm going to like narrow that down to a healthy eighth of an inch just on the flat here just so that we know in the future that's the edge of the ear and it won't break all right same on this side but we're actually going to bring that in let's just say let's bring that in a, a, a finger's width all right so good finger little baby finger big hand small finger and no matter all right so once we get We'll probably work on just one side first and then uh, I'll do the other side off camera. So, right. Got my uh, inch and seven eighths OCC tool knife. Right. And that's what we're doing, just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to mark like that. Basically, that's just the, the point of the hat. So we're going to uh, take all that wood off of there. If I had a bandsaw, which I do, but for your sake, I'm not going to use it. <laughs> but honest to goodness, draw a line, cut it off, right? But we won't. I'll just uh, go crazy. You get the point, right? I'm going to uh, bring that up to a point. I'm going to keep it flat for now until we figure all this out and we'll round the front. But I'm just going to go ahead and uh, same with the beard below the ears. I'm going to come down maybe here and I'm just going to uh, just bring that around. All right. Let me show you that really quick. something like that and then uh, I'll just match it on the other side. Alright, 
that's what we got. That's our rough shape. You have to get the block the sun. But uh, there you go. I hope you're either doing a smaller piece or you uh, have something to cut that out because uh, that's a workout. But that's where we are. All right. So, like I said, this is the bottom of the nose. So let's just start there and uh, dig her down. It's going to be a fairly, fairly deep cut here. I'm going to get that nose right down in there. Something I should have mentioned too is with this uh, this line, this is not necessarily top of the hat here because we want that hat to kind of to loop around. It's just so you can see how we're going to do this. All right, we're going to have a little bit of a raised part in the middle, but uh, it did work for the outer edges of the hat and the ears. All right. Don't be afraid to, to get down in there nice and nice and deep. Well, in this case, we're working on a very large piece. So see that? That's quite deep. All right. And then the same for this, the hat here. We're going to figure all this out later. But in the meantime, let's just scoop that nose down a bit. All right. Start to bring that nose Scooped in. Right. I'm going to flare up the edges of the nose a little bit. Bring it in. Somewhat the same. Alright. And let's see all this stuff here as you go. You can just, whatever's in your way, just get rid of it because. If not now, it'll be later, right? Take all these sharp jabbing edges off. All right. So, right about my pencil. Let's make the eyes right here. And all I'm going to do for that is I'm going to take, I'm going to take, let's think about this. This is the brow ridge, okay? So the nose is going to come down and then the eyes are going to be you know, over here. Okay, so I'm going to take what would be a I suppose it'd be a number nine gouge. This one here. I'm going to go, go right across that line on the top. All right. And then I want my center mark, and I want to just come equally on both sides. A good a good eye width of the nose. And again, we can always go smaller, but we can't go bigger. So right there, then I'm gonna just start taking out some of the eye socket, all right? I might as well put the handle on there if I can do a lot of it. I'm using this uh, flex cut system here. I'm not using my uh, my file tools for for your sake, and don't be afraid. We're gonna we're gonna dig in, make that a good size. All right. Soften the the top edge a bit. All right. But now I want to bring that edge of the nose up in here. I probably should use a smaller gouge, but let's just start with the bigger one. All right. just come up beside the nose, right past the nose. Same on this side. Be sure you got your carbon glove on and keep your fingers out of the way. Someday I have a video I'll show you where I had my hand there and I skipped and I stuck a V-tool in my finger, but uh, I'm sure YouTube will flag it. So we got that there. And I'll just clean them out. Just clean them out. So now we can see, roughly get out of there. We can see our nose. All right. Now obviously this is very rough. 
but that's a good starting point. What a clunky video to make with such a big piece of wood, but I figure you can see better on a big one too. All right. All right. And soften up these edges again. And then back again with our gouge. And dig that in, almost straight in and out. We want to get that inside of the eye nice and deep. Nice and deep. Alright, we're just thinning the top of the nose. Alright. And we can even go back again like that. Do it again. Just back and forth. Whatever you do on one side, do it on the other side. Say hello train. All right, there you go. Every time we leave a sharp edge like that, we'll just clean it up again. Top of the eye, it's gonna soften that a bit. Take that hard edge off. That's gonna end up being our eyebrows at some point. All right, so there we go. Not a bad profile, but we can swoop that nose in, take the point off. All right. On these eye sockets here, I'm going to just run a little, just a little, probably 11 or so. I'm just going to come run in each side here. And I just want to get a little inside, just a little bit deeper on both sides here. Just from the top, join them up. Just so that we can make sure that that inside of that eye is nice and deep. Good enough. And if it was flatter, I would do the same thing on the other side, but since it's already angled out, it's okay. But let's say this is the point of our eye, all right? Do the same on both sides. We want a nice line across here. Both sides. Just keep the eyes the same size. And I'm just going to run. I keep it fairly simple. Yep. Alright. I'm going to take my knife. It's going to do that little corner cut on both sides. Straight in. Pop that V out. All right, same thing. I might stretch this just a little bit. Like that. Pop that V out. All right, same. Join the top and the bottom. And just take a little sliver off the top. And maybe a little more off the bottom. There's that pencil line. See, the bottom of the eyeball actually is lower than the top of the eyeball because it's the ball inside of there. All right. But here's your rough eye. And then I'm just going to take my little, uh, I guess it's number 11 first. I'm going to come up 
on top of the eye around like that see that and on the bottom just a little bit and then I'm going to take a little little V tool I used to always just use the V tool first but I found that I would get too close to the eyelid all the time so now we've deepened that in there the same thing at the bottom we're just going to make that a little straight cut here just to finish those cuts we don't have to join like a little triangle there all right and then here i'm going to bring this down watch this all right i'm going to take a little bit out of there and I'm going to take my V tool. I'm just going to run that up into that cut like that. I'm going to take out a little little chip of wood here. There you go. Quick rough eye. And uh, I can clean that up a little bit. Maybe we want a little bit more of a deeper eyelid, then we'll go again with the V tool. But just by using that softer tool to start with, it was uh, it was good that I wasn't getting too close to the top of the eyelid, and then it'd be something that could break off. I'm just gonna remove that pencil line, and tuck that in just a little bit. All right. Just removing the pencil line. There's an eye. Now if I take this side here and just rub my thumb over it, you should end up with something like that. All right. So there we have the nose and the nose, the eyes. Down to the nose. Let's just kind of decide where our edges of our nose is going to be. All right. I'll start uh, cutting that in. So I get a little stop cut there. I'm going to go straight in like that, and I'm going to come across, and we're going to come up down the bottom of the nose a little bit, and hopefully I'll pull out a little chip like that. See that? So the same thing on this side, down like that, across. Down the bottom of the nose a little bit. So we can go a little bit farther. Alright. Pop that out. Alright. So our nose is, I think it looks fairly straight. Or symmetrical, I should say. Alright. So that is the start of our mustache sign, really. Take that around that nose a little bit. Before we finish the nose, let's draw in our mustache lines. We're going to take that line here and we're going to come down, all right? And what we're going to do is this is going to be like a little little fish hook, all right? And then back up like so. See that? So a big, a big fish hook. And we want to make sure that we do the same, exactly the same on both sides. So that's there. Well, something like that. All right. Now, the beauty of the, having these lines on the ear is always kind of double check. So that one's not as close as this one, right? So we can bring this one down a little bit and closer. All right. Same with the cheeks. We can always make cheeks smaller, but we can't make them bigger. So let's take our uh, V tool. I'll actually put it right in the handle too. All right. I'm just going to follow that line around. 
taking a detour across the beard. <laughs> no. Then we'll look at it and we'll play with it. Right. See how I always have control of that with my thumbnail too. I'm not going to ever let that thing just go on its own with force. Because that's when it skips and jumps. You might see a little line on my thumb here. <laughs> this is experience talking. Alright. But. I only use the V tool just to to kind of guide it out. And now I'm going to take my knife. And now I want to do that with a knife. Come around. Just so I can get nice depth. I'm going to bring that up a little bit just to get my angle. Come around, get those cheeks popping. I'm just forming this and uh, I want to uh, thin that temple area down as well. All right? So just jumping all over the place. All right. So we'll look at that. That's that's pretty good, pretty good. Now I'm going to take a another gouge here. I'm going to go right across here, right into that cut. See that? I may have to go back and fix the edges of my eyes and whatnot, but that's okay. That's okay. See how we thin that that temple area. Clean that up. Okay, we're getting to the point where we're gonna have to uh, gonna have to set the hat in place too. Before we get too far. Right. So the hat. I'm going to uh, go a little bit higher than that center line. Oh wow, the light changes in the shadow. We want to make sure we got some nice, big, bushy eyebrows on that guy, so I think I'm just going to use my knife here. Just cut up to it. I do believe I am a, just a, a knife carver at heart. <laughs> I do like the uh, simpleness of just using the knife for most things, but in this case, we're going to use some more tools.
good now for now. That's where we're at. All right. So I'm going to take my little, little gouge here. I can run it up the center of the nose. Just like so. Like I said, I want I want some big bushy eyebrows. Take these corners off of there. We started the eyebrow. Right. So I'm just gonna and roll my knife. There we go. We can soften that up, but we're going to uh, use a tool to put in the hair in a bit. There we go. All right. All right. So I'm happy with that overall for the shape, but I think I want to uh, see how I can get these cheeks popping more. And that's by uh, getting a little bit deeper in here. Come right around. I'll just do one side and I'll go clean up the other side the same because that's what we need to. The time is going to get long if I don't. All right. So. There we go. So we got that a little bit deeper. We want those cheeks to pop out of there. At the same time, run around. We're gonna have to put a couple little uh, little grooves in here. Let's take this little little number eleven and let's just put a little extra little eye bag in here. A little extra, a little extra age. All right. And then we're gonna take a, a little, give him a little, little mid face groove here. Just a little. Come up the side. A little bit uh, the cheekbone. Then give a little cheekbone. Again, we'll take off all these hard edges. See how we're just kind of giving him a little bit of a cheekbone there. Right there. I'll just soften up all the edges. That's all right. There. Okay, I'm going to do the other side, but before I do that, let's just work a little bit on this nose. Let me take a gouge and go across the nose. You see that? Let me come around. Give him a bit of a ball on his nose. I'm going to go down each side. All right. All right. 
take it like this. We're gonna go undercut it. This side. Make a match. and everything off. All these sharp edges. What a clubby thing to try and hang on to. It would have been easier on the wall, I think. Kind of bring those flares out a bit. This is not a quick carve, so make a little, make a little V cut under the nose. Come on, there. See the nostril. On this side, we cut. There we go. All right, cool. All right, I'm looking at this nose, and uh, it needs to be thinned down a little bit. So I'm going to just go on each side, then that nose down a bit. Right across there, and bring it down too. Part's just about done. We just about got her. I'll take that little little gouge again. I can find it. Bring that down. Like so maybe I'll even uh, bring these down. All right, anyway, that's where we're at. We got some nice, nice cheekbones. This is just little, these are like uh, details you don't normally do, but uh, it's nice to get a little bit more character. Added some nice little, little bags under the eyes. See that? And we can even add wrinkles and whatnot to them too, if we wanted to. But again, we're getting, uh, we're getting along, but shouldn't take away from your carving so I'll tell you everything <laughs> All right. and then we have no crow's feet yet so we can do some serious crow's feet here real big real big wrinkles like so they're not going to change. All right. I'll just run that around. All right. Let's get the hat. Like I said, we've got the hat cut, but let's get it. Shape the whole thing. And I'm going to bring that back to here. So again, I think this is going to be one of those ones where I'll just bring you back. 
when they got the hat shaped. I'm just gonna bring that back like so. Alright. Alright. I'm sweating. Look at that. That's where we're at now. So, our ears here. Let's, uh, all we're gonna do. We're just gonna round these around. And we're gonna put hair going into them. So that we only have to do the outer edge of the ear. So it's gonna be kind of a nice little, nice little thing here. So, around that ear around. Excuse me. All right, what do we got there? A couple of years. All right. Okay. Like I said, we're going to bring the hair flowing into the ear. So that ear is really only going to be the outer edge like that. But we'll worry about that in a minute. Let's get that mustache set while the train comes through. We're going to do a nice big, big mustache. We're going to bring it right to the corners of the cheeks out here. Like so. See that? Right from the cheek. Right. Nice and, uh, nice and thick. Man, that train's loud. All right. Just like so. And for that, again, I'm just going to bring my knife around. Probably would have been a better idea to outline it with a V tool. And again, we want some, uh, we actually want some pretty good depth on that too, so. We're gonna have hair coming down, so. And I don't think this guy here doesn't show a lip. I think we're going to do the same thing on this one. We're just going to pretend the mustache is hiding the lip. All right. Okay, I've decided this is too big to hang on to. <laughs> if I do this again, I'm going to do it on a board or something. Or fasten it to a bench. Cause I got big paws, but even even this is big. So, but like I said, the concepts are the same no matter what uh, what size you want to uh, to do your guy. 
with halfway being the uh, top of the ears. You're golden. There is a uh, Nikki uh, Yeti Yeti Rage on uh, Instagram has wrote a book through Wood Carving Illustrated with gnomes, and she's really started to popularize these big elephant ears, and uh, I think they look really cute. But I like to base all my little gnomey creatures off of uh, off of my gnome books. And I'm going to keep my ears smaller. But if you want to make them big, elfish, elephant-like ears, go for it. There you go. That's a big mustache. Same thing on here. Now remembering that from here, his chin is probably here. So we're not going to bring that beard like this. A lot of you see that a lot. You got to go from the chin and just bring it down a little bit. Just a little, a little bit. You got to give him some, some chin, chin room. So I'm going to clean up that mustache and uh, off camera where I can move. I'm going to bring that beard down, all right? Oh boy, there we go. All right, that's the shape. See on the side. I didn't bring it down to a point. I left some nice meat on the bottom, but uh, there we go. So moving up now, we got to deal with this uh, hair and ear area, which is uh, really going to be flattened out here. I think I'm going to uh, get a V-tool. So what we got here, well, let me, let me, I'll show you the, the ear first. Let's do the ear roughly. So this is hair. Picture the separation from the, the beard to the hair, okay? So we're going to uh, create hair and then the ear. So this is going to tuck back up under the hat somewhat. Remember, whatever you do on one side, you gotta you gotta flip it around and do it on the other. It's just gonna be very lopsided. All right. So we're going to bring that hair. Come on, there we go. Swooping the hair out, but first thing we're gonna do. Just take a pencil. I'm gonna put a heavy, heavy uh, liner on there. We're gonna dig that out with the uh, a V tool or a small U gouge, and we're going to put the hair into the ear. So if I take this uh, this V tool here, let's just do it like this. Right. I'll do one side. And then I'll show you the other side. Right. So I'm just creating the outline of the ear right. with hair in it. Right. Now I'm going to take this V tool, working up the hair. While I do that, I can take my knife and cut little little triangles in there just to show that the hair is in fact in the ear. See that? I do that a few times before we clean it all up. Then we'll kind of undercut that after, all right? We'll keep going with the V-tool. All right, into the head. Oh, 
obviously if you paint the uh, paint the hair, then the ear will be the skin color. I'll just take those pencil marks off of there. Take all those hard, hard edges off. Get that ear. The ear's got to get back underneath there. So yeah, something like that. So you can see the outer edge is the ear, but the hair goes into the, the ear. So I'll do the other side. And you know what? While I'm at it, same thing with the... Uh, the mustache. I'll just texture the whole thing. When I do the mustache too, I'm going to uh, follow through with some of these little V cuts just to uh, break it up. All right. Same on the outside. I'll make a couple like that, just so that we can break up all those round areas let's keep playing at it but uh, maybe we'll just speed her up so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go over with a gouge I'm going to put all my little uh, whisker marks and my hair marks with a gouge and then I'm going to follow them up with a v-tool but at the same time making sure that there's no no straight lines we want them all to be curving in different ways. All right. Nothing more boring than a, than a beard that's just straight. All right. Same with the mustache. Bring it up into the nose. Beard doesn't have to be as symmetrical either. It can just be uh, all over the place. It can be a messy beard. tool. I can see how I got some of these little gouge marks. I'm just going to follow the gouge. So just deep in the bottom of that gouge mark. See that? Just like that. All of these I'm just going to go around. Turn the corners. The edges of the mustache. And again, like I said, then cutting out these little little chips, so it's not a so it's not a perfectly smooth bottom. All right, and work it up underneath. So, all right, I'm gonna work on that. But before we do that, too, let's take this little uh, little U gouge too. Knock these little humps off of the, the eyebrows. 
the same thing. We're just gonna little little nicks. Just the little nicks. Get those eyebrows set. Right. I always like to go two ways and then go down again. And we get those big, big bushy eyebrows. You see that? All right. I'm gonna work on the hair on my own so I can lay it down and just hog on it, and uh, I'll bring it back. All right. I'm glad I went off camera because I pretty much had to stand on top of this thing with these gouges and V-tools and just push against the desk. So next time I'll have a piece of wood underneath. But there's our little fella. Roughly done. A bit of cleanup left to do. But you know what I mean about the do the gouge marks in the beard. Not straight. Follow in with the V-tool. Get a little bit deeper. And when you get to the outer edges, take little, little bits and bites out of it along the way so that you can... Uh, Take away that round edge. But this fella here, apart from a little bit of cleanup, I have to wash him and uh, I'm going to oil him too, but I'm going to spray him up here just to uh, let you see some of the, uh, what do you call it, shadows and whatnot. But uh, I think he's not a bad looking fella. So let me go clean him up. I'll paint just the eyeballs and I'll put some uh, linseed oil on him and uh, We'll come back and wrap it up. Alrighty, before the big reveal, let's uh, thank those people who bought me a coffee this week. I always appreciate it, never expect it, but it sure does uh, keep me motivated to make more videos and keeps the channel going, so thanks guys. And uh, here is our finished gnome face. I kind of like him uh, not painted, actually, with just the eyes. It looks kind of good. And uh, same as in the book, right? But if you want to paint them, remember I have that full painting tutorial on uh, YouTube already from uh, 2020, I think it was. So here's our man. And uh, like I said, hopefully you can use the same techniques to do a smaller one because 10 inches is a, is a handful, if you know what I'm saying. So there he is. And uh, yeah, that's the video. So Until next time, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you later. See you guys.